so we are here today at our local Dollar Tree and we're gonna go find out I got Colby with me he's gonna be my cameraman and we're gonna go find things that you can buy for a cruise here at Dollar Tree if I live like Dollar Tree in the okay so over here in this is like the laundry aisle clothespins clothespins are fantastic for um, you're gonna have that cord that hangs in the shower that you so if you have clothespins you can hang everybody's wet swimsuit on so clothespins are a good thing also I've never seen them here before but these are towel clips so this is a six pack of towel clips for a dollar that's a good buy also over here we've got these pop-up drawers you see they fold flat but they come up into a cube drawer and so if you need extra if you need extra drawer space or extra storage these are a great thing they don't have the pop-up pampers right now but they do have these mesh laundry bags so you see they take up very little space you can put all of your dirties in here and okay on the aisle with all the shampoos and things they have the on the goes up here so up here you've got small bottles of shampoo but what I love is the small bottles of hand sanitizer. So you don't need a big bottle of hand sanitizer for a week cruise. This bottle is perfect. So you get one bottle for your cabin, one bottle for your backpack, and your hand sanitizer the whole trip. And also we've got, oh look, see this is great. So we've got a little uh, travel toothpaste and toothbrush pulled up here. We have wet wipes. So right here in this area, you're gonna find a lot of good to go items. Okay, right here, you're gonna have all your travel bottles. So if you're flying, this is a necessity for you. So you've got a pack of three bottles or two bottles and a pump bottle. Um, also here, if you like a sponge, you can pick the one up for a dollar. That way you can bring it on the cruise, throw it away when you're done if you want. And finally, shower caps. Now you're not gonna use these for actual showering. You put these over your shoes whenever you're packing and it keeps dirties from your, your shoes getting on your clothes. So for a dollar, you get eight of these, you can cover eight pairs of shoes. This is a really good tip. That's insane. Over here with the brushes, they have travel brushes. So these are great to throw in your court bag. Um, if you've got hair like this and you get on a beach with the wind, you're gonna want a hairbrush. So I like picking one of these up. Takes, very, takes up very little space in your backpack and you're able to brush your hair. So this is a good item. We like to buy a gift bag for our room store. So I like to buy these reusable gift bags here or these reusable tote bags for two reasons. Number one, it's something they, they can use again if they want to. And two, I can also put my door decorations in here with the gift as I'm carrying it on, on the ship. I personally have never used an air freshener on board, but a lot of people swear by them. So these right here, these are just the little pop-ups and they will um, deodorize your room. Hey, also I found they have these tote bags. So these are really great for beach bags. So you can put your uh, beach towels, your sunscreen, everything. You can use them full side or you can take them into port. So this you, is for a dollar a nice beach bag. And you don't have to worry about sand. Right. Also, they have hats. Now I've always said a hat is a necessity on a cruise. And we normally will get the straw hats, but if you're a bulk hat person, for a dollar you can't be um, Also, you can find flip flops here. So, you know, these are the inexpensive flip flops, but sometimes these are a good thing to have as a backup if nothing else. So, so they've got, it, this is early in the spring, so they don't have a lot out, but you come in the summer in this whole wall, and that's probably what they're doing right now, is filling this up with flip flops. So you can get flip flops for a dollar. So I keep finding more great bags over here. So this is an over the body messenger bag. So you'll put it over like this. So when you go into port, you can put your phone, your money and everything in here and it's secure around your body. Okay, over here when you see this wall of organizers, you'll find these little clear boxes and they have different, well, I've seen different ones in different stores, but these are good for your jewelry. So you can put all of your jewelry in here. It's a closed container and it'll keep things from getting tangled up. Toothbrushes. Um, we always get new toothbrushes whenever we get ready to go on a trip. And so you can do one of two things. Either bring the new toothbrush on the trip or take your old toothbrush and pack it and you've got a brand new toothbrush in your bathroom. So I don't recommend buying the four pack. These are really cheap and they might break. But you've got some that are two in a pack. And so you've got, you've got Colgate here. So this is a good brand. It's going to last you. So you pick up some of these. Also, you've got a good size toothpaste for a week for a dollar. Floss <laughs> or these little pick flossers and small bottles of mouthwash. Can you go down on the small? Okay. 
in the small bottles of mouthwash. If you're flying, this is gonna be too big for flying, but if you're driving, it's a good smaller size that you can pack. Okay, they have on this health aisle right here all types of first aid and medicines. So they do have a small first aid kit that's gonna be your band-aids and things like that. They also have um, these small pill boxes. So they have the small ones and then they have the seven days. And if you watched my um, extra pack, I, I like to do get a, one of those seven day boxes and put seven different medications in each box. So you've got one for your heartburn, one for your headache, one for your cold medicine, and you've got everything in one central location. Just put labels on it instead of carrying around a whole bunch of different pill boxes. So this aisle right here, we're gonna go down the aisle. So here we have cough drops. I definitely recommend grabbing a bag of these if you're prone to any type of cold or sinus infection. These are a dollar. You buy a bag of these on the ship, they're seven or eight dollars. I don't remember oh. what, but I had to buy one one time and I was like, oh, that's so expensive. So definitely pick up a bag of cough drops if you're prone to those things. So they make um, money. Also, every kind of medicine you can think of. So you've got nasal decongestant, headache medicine, eye drops, um, nasal spray, allergy pills, little bottle of Tums. Okay, how much do we eat on a cruise? These things can really come in handy. I always carry a little bottle of these. So on this aisle, in here, we're gonna, let's keep going down. So we've got PM pain relievers, um, ibuprofen, tension headache. I like bringing these. Sometimes, or like a, an Excedrin or something that's specific for a headache. Sometimes when you're in the sun for a long time, you can get one of those really bad headaches that, not, that a regular Tylenol or ibuprofen is not gonna get rid of. So this is a good thing to have. Um, they've got the PM medicine. I mean, really just any kind of basic medicine you need, you can find on this aisle. You can build you a great first aid kit from the dollar store. Instead of going to Walgreens or somewhere where you're gonna pay three or four or five or more dollars per medication, you can really build what you need right here. Okay, so we also have these small bottles of sunscreen. So these are three ounces. So these are small enough that you're flying to bring because it's um, under four ounces under four ounces. I have to look that up. But if you're flying, these are small enough to bring. So they've got SPF 30. They've got SPF 50. They've got soothing aloe gel. So if you do get a sunburn, they do have that as well. Which is a possibility. It's always a possibility. And then here, this is the one I really like. It's the kids SPF 50 because the kids, it's gonna, it stays on a little bit better. It's more like a sport, you know, it's gonna stay on really, really well um, with swimming and things like that. So this is a really good sunscreen to get for a dollar. And this one is exactly four ounces. Right. They also um, razors. So if you want to not worry with your everyday razor and just want to pack uh, some throwaways, they have the men's and the women's throwaways here. They have shave gel. Um, the smaller sticks of deodorant. You can also go to Walmart and buy the same, buy something smaller for like twice the price, yeah. which is fascinating. So really, kind of anything you need, toiletries wise, first aid wise, they do have a lot of odd options here for a dollar. So you can really come here and stock, come here and stack up your bag. They had them. It took me a minute to spend them. Find them. These are the antibacterial wet wipes. So these are something that you're definitely going to want for traveling as well. I'm a huge fan of bringing my own cup because the cups on the ship are only about this big. Fascinating. So I like, I drink lots of water at a time. So I like bringing one of these. I like the ones with the lid and the straw. This is my personal choice. But they also have these types of bottles. We got this. Open and pour. Which yep. is. There's this that you have the option you can open and pour or it does have a straw. And then they have the coffee style ones as Ooh. well. These aren't very big though. You can Whatever. probably find something better than this. Whatever. But um, but there's some, this is my personal favorite. I'm buying this one right here. But this is a good option, inexpensive, $1. If it breaks or gets lost, you're not out much. So I'm buying this one. If you're gonna bring your own bottles of wine and plan on drinking them in your room as opposed to bringing them to the dining room, you may wanna pick up a corkscrew. Um, sometimes the steward will give you one of these at no charge, but I have been told that sometimes they do charge you. So for one dollar, grab one of these, throw it in your suitcase, and then you don't have to worry about it. Ziploc bags are a great, great item. Um, you can use them to keep things dry, or you can keep wet items away from dry items. I like bringing these on shore, and we put 
our phones or other electronics in um, to keep them from getting wet. Or then on your last day when you're getting ready to go home, you can put your swimsuit in here and keep it from getting other items wet. So here they have, you can see, I recommend gallon and maybe some quart Ziploc bags. Okay, so here we have highlighters. This is a magnetic notepad so you can write notes to each other, sticky notes, and Sharpie markers. So we mentioned these in extras to pack so you can write notes to each other if you're gonna go off electronics. And I did find the dry erase boards over here. Now these are kitty boards, and a lot of times they'll have plain ones, but they do have these. So they're frozen and cars, but they are dry erase boards. Great for leaving messages. In the front of Dollar Tree is the seasonal section. This is a good area to look for things for your door decorations, for instance. These items here make really good door decorations. We're cruising on Easter, so we're gonna get some of these items, put them together, and hang them on our doors of our cabins. But these note cards are a really good item for tipping. So um, if you wanna give your steward or your uh, bartender or your main dining room staff something a little extra, you can get some of these note cards and put a personal note in with the tip that you give them. If your ship is gonna have a glow party, you might wanna pick up some extra glow sticks for that event. Now they do give away glow necklaces, they'll throw handfuls them at a time, but you gotta fight for them, number one. And number two, it's just glow necklaces. So what we did last time is we got some extra glow necklaces plus some of these bracelets, and then they've got cool things for you the get a wand, ones, you can like get wands. America. Yeah, so you can take that glow party to the next level. So these, also if your ship has a, a white night, um, glow sticks would be fun for a white night too. All right, Colby, what did you find that you just have to have? I'm gonna, mom's gonna probably make you pick for me. Okay, so he a little dagger and eggs. And a, and a sword. But this glow sticks also make a good nightlight for interior rooms. So you can crack one each night and it gives just enough light to where you can see around your room and it doesn't take any electricity. And if you want to have a glow party at night, you get a bunch of these white ones and hang them on your roof. <laughs> <laughs> these battery operated tea lights also make good night lights for your room. There's two in a pack for a dollar. Or if you want a traditional night light, they have those here too. But this will take one of your very valuable plug-in spaces. We like to get candy for our room steward. Uh, there's a lot of candy here. So pick out a couple for him. So what are we gonna get this time? Something like chocolate. So see, you can see there's all kinds. There's chocolate, hot tamales, all the different movie theater box candies right here for a dollar. We normally put two or three of these in our room steward's gift bag. All right, Colby, so what did you decide on? M&M's. Let's I, see. I don't really know what he want, likes, so we got M&M's because we can never go on with m and Skittles. Skittles. Mm-hmm. And then milk chocolate. And a chocolate bar. We're from Louisiana, so we like to include a little something Louisiana. So a bag of Zapp's potato chips mm. usually does the trick. These are good and spicy, and these really represent us. The last thing I've got to recommend here is sunglasses. Now, they've got sunglasses of every shape, style, for $1. So come here. These might not be your primary pair. Like, these are my primary pair, but I'm going to bring an extra pair because it never fails. I'm going to break my sunglasses on vacation. Right, Colby? Yep. Yep, my sunglasses always break on vacation, Sadly. so it's good to have a backup pair. So these, um, there's some really actually good looking sunglasses here, so take a look. Also, they have these cords. So these little cords you hook onto your sunglasses and that way you can pull it down and hang it around your neck. So the boys really like these so they don't have to keep up with them. For me, I really like this pair right there. That's fabulous. These? Those. You're gonna get those? Yes, Here. those are nice. Let's try them on you. You look fantastic. I especially love that blue tag hanging on your nose. So that's all the items that we have found here at Dollar Tree. We hope that you have found some items that you think will be useful in your next cruise. And um, if you have any additional things that you know of, please leave them in the comments. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe for more cruise tips videos to come.
Yeah. Okay, so we are back from our Dollar Tree shopping adventure, and this is what we have gotten for our room steward. So we got this cute little Star Wars tote bag. Okay, so we've got the Zamps Voodoo Potato Chips, because that's our representation of Louisiana. We've got him some candy. We've got M&M, Skittles, and a yummy-looking milk chocolate bar. Some personal items, uh, like a new toothbrush and toothpaste, because they have to supply all of these things for themselves, so that's a nice item to give him. Also, same here. He's got to do his own laundry. So we've got some laundry pods and some dryer sheets. We'll probably pick up a couple more things to go in here. And I've got a pack of note cards, so I'm going to write him a nice thank you note from our family. This is just a little thank you saying you're going to be with us for the next week. We appreciate what you do for us. Um, just a little something to remember us by. And we hope that he likes everything. If he doesn't, he can share with his friends. But it's the thought that counts. And um, it's just something we like to do.